what do you remember about Tupac back in them days? Because this is before Pac became Pac. We still well, talk about Pac and Digital Pac, Underground. Pac, Pac was very close because there was a there's a girl in, in my group. Her name was Tasha. And I was dating Tasha. And Pac was dating Yo-Yo. Yo-Yo was on it too. So we'd be like the double date kids from, from high school. Literally. It was like, hey, we're going to all go to a restaurant. <laughs> and... <laughs> We'd be 16, 17 up in a restaurant or or just hanging out or Pac would come to me, man, yo-yo playing me, man, and, you know, just dating advice. It was that type of vibe. Are and, you serious? Yeah, and or um, it was just like, um, like my memories are more like, you know, he was like a super mischievous kid as well. So like him, and I had a dancer named Peekaboo and him and Peekaboo were always getting in trouble like i remember one time i had to get them like i had to bail them out for something that they did they did something crazy i don't remember i don't remember what it was or what state but it was one thing we had to definitely go to a station and, and get them out but that's what it was it was just kids being mischievous man or like we would go we would have um i would have bmx bikes and um it would be me sometimes pop a couple of us we would just be like, what city? We're in, I remember we were in Phoenix one day and we just wanted to see the city. We all got on our bikes and bounced. We looked like black kids off the ET movie or something like that. Literally that, on not not motorcycle bikes. No, no, BMX bikes. We had bikes <laughs> on the bottom of the tour bus. I bought bikes and I put them on the bottom. And that's what we did. Bikes, skateboards. We had water gun fights. We were kids, man, like pure kids. That's crazy. Okay, so so I, I gotta ask. Um, you you you. They say you can always tell a winner out of right out the starting gate. Um, mm -hmm. you, you what you just mentioned legendary MCs. Um, I can't tell a winner. <laughs> you, you so so because I'm about to go. Don't I, ask me if I saw if I thought people would become great. No, <laughs> really. No, nah. but there's a reason for that. I don't know if it's a fault of mine or not. I see, and it sounds corny as shit. I see everybody the same. Like Elaborate. Any, even when I work with artists, this I've never, I've worked with big artists. I work with small artists. Everybody is exactly the same to me. Like I don't, I never trip. There's no, there's like my thing is everybody has a shot. And I believe that if you're here, if I'm here with you and you're on this stage and I'm on this stage and whatever, we all are supposed to be here, period. We're, we're here because we're supposed to be here. Everybody got a shot and nobody, and everybody cannot be number one. So we just the same. One of us is gonna be number one. One of us is gonna be number 10 but we're all going to be in the room at some point in time because we're in the room now. Um, and so like, I've, I've heard great records before it came out and I'm like, that's all right. Uh, like, you know, I've heard, I've seen great artists before they got big and I'm like, he's all right. <laughs> you know, it's, it's never, it's, and you can name any of the, any of the, the biggest people out, I probably have crossed personal paths with them, um, you know, from that era at some point in time. So to me, it's all the same. It's literally all the same to me, man. I can't. You, I mean, because I know even for me, I've sat in rooms with people and, and it just is something magnetic, something special about this individual. Even if you can't put your finger on it, you're like this person they got that genesee quad. They got that. that, yeah. that. <laughs> but in the position that you've been in, have you ever been in a room with somebody that you just couldn't see it at all and they blow the hell up? Yes, absolutely. That's what I'm saying. So it's like, there's people, how many times have you seen an artist walk in a room, you know, especially being behind the scenes at a label, you see artists that no one ever, ever sees. They never Correct. come out. Correct. You know what I'm saying? Yo, we just signed someone, so they're gonna blow up. They never come out. Correct. 
You know what I'm saying? So it's like, how can you determine that? Because determining that, they can't do it by themselves. So you can't never determine somebody catapulting up. It's like saying, it's like looking at an astronaut, right? Mm -hmm. And you're looking at a room full of astronauts, like, that's the one that's going to go to Mars. No, he may be the one that's going to go to Mars, but he needs the rocket ship to get to Mars. And you can't predict where the rocket ship is coming from yet, unless you make the rocket ship and you're going to be like, I'm putting him on my rocket ship. That's the only way you can determine if somebody's going to super blow. You can say, let me tell you something. The nicest MCs I've ever witnessed in my life have never made a record. Like the greatest rappers I've ever heard in my life have never made records. And then there's some great ones that have. Some of the greatest singers I've ever known have never made records because you can't get it done. They don't, they, you see them, they have the it factor. When you see them, you hear them, they have the it factor. When you hear them, you put them in the studio and it flops. <laughs> it just don't yep. happen. Mm -hmm. So I turn my brain off when it comes to that, man. I can't even, I can't call it and I won't call it. I just don't have that gift. I think other people have that gift. I personally do not have that gift to call a superstar because I know way too many superstars before they were superstars, like personally, way too many. And I could have never figured that out. From did, did anybody ever surprise you then? Everybody. <laughs> <laughs> everybody surprises me. Everybody, you know, from Jay-Z to whoever, everybody, do I think hanging out with Puff in a dorm room with chicks, do I think, oh, he's going to be a billionaire music mogul. He's going to be our answer to Barry Gordy. You think I'm thinking that? That's so I'm real. I'm thinking about that chick in the next room. I'm <laughs> And he thinking about the chick in his room. You know what I'm saying? That's what we thinking about. You know, I'm not, I'm not, because we don't, and I guess it's because we're not having those conversations. It's just general, what do you want to get? What do you want to order? Where are we going to get some pizza from? You know, those are the conversations we're having. And, and, um, you know, and, and, and I'm not, this is not like a, a flex or anything, but for example, my cousin is Vin Diesel, right? Okay, I, I, heard, I heard about that. Is, is that real? Like, is that your this is, blood? It's a real thing. He is my cousin. You know, birthday parties, little kids, staying at each other's house the whole nine. He's six years older than me. He's my big cousin. You could never tell me, never in 100 billion years that that guy, my cousin, was going to be a movie star. I didn't even know he acted. <laughs> like when we were kids, when I was being, when I was starting my thing as a rapper, he wanted to rap, and we were talking about how how I'm going to put him out, and we were coming up with gimmicks. <laughs> there was no point in saying I'm going to be a superstar. There's even when he made he made. Um, Sorry, he made an um, a independent film that went to a film festival and Steven Spielberg saw it. And I'm sitting up watching Save It Private Ryan. I'm like, yeah, what the hell? <laughs> Literally. I'm like, yo. I'm calling my mother. I'm like, yo, what's this? <laughs> you know, and, and then I ended up, you know, seeing him right after that. I'm sitting there and I'm like, yo, dude, what the hell? You're an actor now? He said, hey, man, <laughs> Steven Spielberg liked me. I'm like, what? He said, yeah, I'm about to put out another one. What? I can't call it, man. I can't call it. So you just like, I'm pretty sure people in my family couldn't call it with me. So there you go. That's crazy. That's crazy. And, and, and you know what's so dope about that, that, that story with your cousin? 
Because that's how everybody feels about they they big cousin, low cousin. Like that's just yeah. such and such. That like like even as you was telling that story, it's so real because you just look at him as that's just my big cousin Ben in the story. Yeah. Like, like, like we're at a dinner, we were at a dinner, like a family dinner. Cause his sister is my age. So sister having a birthday. Oh, actually his niece, my sister's, his sister's daughter was having a birthday and we're all the families all at dinner and we're just talking. And it's just so it's, it's like, I was, like I said, I don't, I don't get it, man. <laughs> I just don't get it. You know, we're, we're just talking regular stuff, but yet is black car, you know, the, the, you know, the SUV and the guy standing in front of it, he's outside the whatever. It's all this goofy stuff going on outside, but inside it's the same old thing. It's just regular stuff. And I prefer that. You know, yep. to be honest with you, I prefer it. I prefer to be like that. I prefer to be able to sit with artists of all types and the armor comes off. And we just, whether we're just kids again, we're just like-minded adults, you know, and that's how I just see see all people just in general, man. It's just like, I don't, I can't put the the glow on them, man. It's just, it's just because you know, that's what you do every other day, man. Like when we hang out, let's, you can take the glow off, and we can just we can just chop it up, and and you know, if we got to work, we'll get to work. But yeah, I, I I don't know because I think when people start seeing people that way, they start acting different, talking different, mm-hmm. maneuvering different around them, and I know from the other side, I know that they a lot of them don't like that They're like why is like why is my cousin acting different around me you know what i'm saying or yeah, yeah, yeah. why is my boy that i've known since i was 12 acting different around me now that i'm a rapper or whatever you know and i you know i can say that you know i can have friends that were like best friends from eighth grade and we all hanging out and they talking talking like giving me Arsenio Hall interviews. And I'm like, yeah, dude, the hell? (laughs) You know, we used to break dance together. You talking to me about, have I met Beyonce or somebody? Like, come on, man, (laughs) like, chill. So, you know, yeah, that, not to be long winded, but yeah, that's that's how I I just see it. it. I, I get it 100%. What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.